Okay, welcome. And in this video, we're going to go over the 3CX uh, desktop phone. Not desktop phone, as actually on your desktop. The 3CX phone that is on your desktop computer. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the 3CX phone. And we're just going to kind of go over all the little buttons and all the little nuances of it. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll start right here where it says available. What this is, is you can click that and there will be different statuses that you can set your your extension to, essentially. All right, This is actually called presence. This is kind of shows everybody within your organization um, the status of your, of your phone. And within these different presence or these different statuses, you can set your, your phone to behave different ways when a call comes into it. So for example, by default, it's set to available. <clears throat> And if we and if we select that, now you can see unanswered calls. My phone's going to ring for six seconds. If it's not answered, it's going to go to voicemail. Okay. Internal calls will also go to voicemail. If the phone is busy or it's not registered, meaning that I don't have a phone connected, it's there's no communication between my phone. Um, like my desktop phone may be unplugged. I don't have this application launched on my computer. There's just no way for a call to reach me. Then the call is going to be forwarded to my voicemail. Um, so a couple other settings down here. You can also have the phone ring your mobile or your cell phone at the exact same time. So if a call comes into your extension, it will ring your desktop phone. It will also ring this and then it will also ring your mobile. All right, here you can accept multiple calls. So you can have um, one, if, a, if it's unchecked and a call comes in it's, and you're on the phone, it's gonna go right to your voicemail. If you have it checked and you hit okay, then you'll be able to, um, you'll get a notification in your ear, you know, some type of sound that you have another call coming in, like call waiting. All right, now, if you set it to away, you can see that my this is my extension. You can see that it changed. So this would give notification to everybody in the organization that I'm away. Um, they can still transfer calls to you, okay? Um, but what's going to happen is instead of your call or instead of the call ringing your your phone for X amount of rings or X amount of seconds, it's going to go straight to voicemail. Okay, so you can set that up. Or if you wanted to do different things, whoops. For example. Whoops, what am I doing here? Why is it doing that? Oh, sorry. If I wanted to, let's say I wanted to ring my my cell phone, I can click that, right? Now the calls are gonna ring my cell phone for internal and external. Again, this would have to be set up. You'd have to have your mobile number pre-programmed in the back end of the system. Um, you can do that, and that will be in another video. Uh, otherwise, you can have your sister administrator do it or the company who handles it. Okay, so yeah, different things. Um, you can set these. You have one, two, three, four, five different presences that you can set it to. What I like to do is for lunch is uh, come down here and have it also ring my mobile. And why I do that is let's say I'm in the office, you know, I'm available to take the calls, um, but then I got to step out and there's certain calls that I don't want to miss. Right, so if I'm waiting for a call. I'll set it to also ring my mobile. Again, you have to have it set. So let me uncheck that. But let's just assume that it was all set up and now it's gonna ring my mobile. So now I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna go to lunch, or I'm gonna run an errand, but I don't wanna miss calls. I'll set my presence to lunch and now my cell phone will ring, okay? Now, a cool thing about this is you don't have to be at your computer in order to set this. As long as you set this up on, as long as you download the app on your cell phone, whether it be Android or iOS, then you can simply launch it on there and you can also make these changes. Um, you can also change your status. Okay, so let's say you, for some reason, you like to set your phone to away when you leave the office. So calls go directly to your cell phone or calls go directly to your voicemail, right? You leave the office and you forget to change it to away. Well, I can go to my cell phone, I can launch the app, the app, and I can change it to away. Okay, so that's that in a nutshell. 
Um, what you're looking at here, this is the presence. You can see all your different users. You can right click, not right click, you can click that arrow and then you can have all these different options. You can call their mobile, you can leave them a voicemail, intercom them, conference with them, you can chat with them and you can send them an email. Okay. Um, oh, one thing I forgot right here. So this is Softphone. There's two different modes that this program can run in. One is Softphone. And what Softphone is, is if, I, if, I, if a call comes in and, and I answer it from here, we'll say answer, um, and I answer it, and it's in Softphone mode, then I'm going to have to have a microphone and speakers or a headset that has a microphone and speakers so I can communicate with the caller. Right, so the other mode is desktop desk phone CTI. Okay, so what that is now, that's going to um, I'm still going to be able to to answer calls from here, but what it's going to actually do is it's going to answer it on my desktop phone. It actually collaborates or communicates with your desktop phone. If I were to call out on the keypad here, the call would actually go out on my desk phone. Okay, so that's the two different things. I like to use soft phone mode because I personally, when I'm in the office, I'm making a lot of calls, handling a lot of calls, I typically wear a headset and um, so I keep it in uh, soft phone mode. Okay, uh, so that's presence, that's this little icon right here. This is your contacts where you can add them and you would actually add contacts right here, add contacts and then they would all be listed, listed here. Here's your call history. Um, so, for example, let me just call the voicemail real quick, which is 99999. Whoops, one too many. All right, so I just called the voicemail and give it a sec. There it is. Okay, so there's a call history, right? And then, so from here, I can call it again. And it kind of gives you that information. Okay, then you have all calls, incoming, outgoing, missed. And abandoned, which abandoned is for like call senders that uh, calls came in, but the caller hung up; they were never answered. So that would be a list there. That doesn't really pertain to uh, most businesses, organizations, but it is there. Uh, voicemails. If I had voicemails, they'd all be listed here. Which is cool about that is if you if you access your voicemail, let's say you have five voicemails saved on your or within your voicemail, and you access it from your desktop phone, right? You have to go through and listen to or you know go through all five or all four to get to number five well from here if i had five i would they'd all be listed here and i can right click on them i can play on the phone i can download i can see the caller d information i can call that person back uh, a lot more functionality with using this this little um, here's where you can set your different greetings you can play the greeting on your phone you can record a new greeting for default this would be a way or available a way uh, do not disturb office out, out of hours I can't remember um, but then you can have different greetings for the different presence that, that you have set and again that corresponds again with with this okay oh business trip okay um, moving along here's where you can start a web meeting which a web meeting is where you can create um, to, uh, like a conference call, but via the web, via uh, video, you can share your screen, share documents, have a whiteboard. Here's where you can create an audio conference, you know, conference calls where you can send out emails to different participants, and you can also do that with a video. Okay, this is like kind of more so scheduling out. Uh, switchboard. Here is where it just brings up another little box where you can have your uh, different views. So if someone was on the phone, you would see the caller and callee information, the duration, and who they're talking to and any details. Uh, manager mode, again, is more or less for call centers where they can see um, people that are in the call queue or not call queue, but uh, people that are available to take calls. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different in call centers. Um, that's it in a nutshell here's some options you can play around with you can view them on your own again this is uh, similar to here um, just brings up a little sidebar window here all right so that's the 3cx phone in a nutshell um, again if you have this on your cell phone 
it looks a little different, but the functions and features are, are very similar. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, comment below or reach out and we'll get those answered for you. Thanks.